I've seen the trailers, I've watched the gameplay, I've heard about the new features, and I have taken some time to ponder all this information, and so far Black Ops 6 Zombies looks pretty good. Of course, good marketing is no guarantee that it actually will be good. For all we know, it could be the next Vanguard, but I would be shocked if it's any worse than Cold War, and I like Cold War. Everything I've learned about this game just sounds perfect. From the new stuff like save and quit and guided quests, to returning features like dedicated crews and gobblegums. But I figured I'd take a moment and go over all the things that I think are the most interesting. The things that I have more to say about than just, it sounds cool. Like the fully customizable HUD. This has got to be what I'm most excited for, which is probably weird, but I'm a weird guy and unfortunately Treyarch has been struggling these last few years with zombie HUDs. So I'm sure I will be disabling most of it in this game, but I'm also looking quite forward to being able to play with no HUD at all. My only concern is that having it mostly disabled will negatively impact my game. I mean, the game will be more difficult if there's less stuff on screen to help me. That's a given. I mean more like HUD elements that I will want to have off, but may be necessary for certain easter egg steps or stuff like that. Like think of the Pokemon step from Firebase Z. In order to do it effectively, health bars are all but required, so if you did have them disabled you would want to turn them on specifically for that step. Which is not the end of the world, but I would prefer not to have anything like that in Black Ops 6. The new Augment system also sounds pretty cool. I always thought the whole upgrading system from Cold War was fine, but I was never super fond of permanent upgrades. It was something that you only got to do once and never again, and some of them had game-altering effects that you couldn't undo even if you wanted to. And believe me, I've tried. But with Augments, it sounds like we'll be able to equip two for each augmentable item, and they can be switched around or unequipped as we please, which sounds way more engaging than what we got in Cold War. I just hope that there aren't any that are objectively better than the rest. I would love to see people mix and match all sorts of different augments for different playstyles, and not just have everybody using the same ones all the time. The loot looks like it's going to be a lot better in this game. I like that there's only going to be one type of salvage instead of two, just like what we saw in Vanguard, which I personally prefer. It's easier to remember the value of craftable items when they all use the same currency. Loot will also be player specific, so you don't have to worry about anybody hoarding it all up. As a primarily solo player, I never even considered that this could be an issue, but it's good that Treyarch did. And I could be wrong, but it looked to me like there were a lot less loot drops in this game as opposed to Cold War or Vanguard, probably because we could only see a fourth of them. And if that is the case, then the map is going to be a lot less cluttered during the match. Additionally, the colored outlines didn't look as bright to me. I could be wrong about this too, maybe they just look darker in the gameplay, but if this is the case and there are fewer drops, then this whole system is going to be much more visually appealing. But really, my favorite change that they've made to the loot is how the items now lay flat on the ground. It is a small thing, and it looks like they won't always match up with the terrain, but I think it's going to make the game a lot more immersive than just having these items sitting straight up. Armor will be interesting though. It will now be a wall buy that is purchased with points rather than crafted with salvage, which I'm mostly just indifferent to. It doesn't immediately sound like it's going to be any better or worse than what we got before, but what does interest me about it is that we can use armor plates to repair it, like in Warzone. I know a lot of people aren't thrilled about Warzone mechanics in Zombies, but I think that this could actually be a really good change. If they do function like they do in Warzone, then we'll have to put our weapons away to use them, leaving us vulnerable for a few seconds, so we'll have to be somewhat strategic about when we repair our armor. Although I do assume it's going to be more like Modern Warfare, which let you keep your gun up whenever you repaired. However, if these armor plates are too common or too easy to acquire, then it may ruin it. I don't really want to be spamming the repair button all game, I would rather have to decide when it's best to use them, and when I'd be better off saving them for later. Apparently this game is going to be difficult. Maybe not as much as Black Ops 1 or 2, but more so than Cold War, which I think is going to be great. I've always thought that Zombies was at its best when the developers thought that round 20 or 30 was the highest that people would get. That's a pretty good length for a regular old match of Zombies, and I don't think you should have to play longer than that for the game to get challenging. Plus, it makes completing easter eggs and achieving high rounds a more impressive accomplishment, and considering that there will be guided quests and a save and quit feature for solo, some extra difficulty is justified. However, being difficult isn't inherently a good thing. Difficulty has to be fair. For example, think of Extinction from Ghosts. At launch it was difficult, but more because it was overwhelming. At certain points there would be so many enemies spawning in and attacking you from all sides, and it was more frustrating than anything. But fortunately they did go in and tone things down so that it was more fair. Hopefully that's not going to be the case for Black Ops 6. I do want it to be challenging, but not frustrating. And with all these new and updated features, I hope they can find a good balance. But I also hope that people don't complain too much about the difficulty, and then Treyarch overcorrects by making it too easy.
A returning feature that a lot of people don't seem super excited for is loadouts and being able to start with any weapon. I understand that starting with a pistol is much more in line with classic zombies, and I would have absolutely zero qualms about going back to that, but I still think loadouts work well because of the rarity system. The only thing that I would want them to change about it in this game is the amount of ammo you start with. In older games, you only got 40 shots in your pistol, which was incredibly weak. But in Cold War, you could start off with hundreds of rounds of ammunition in a weapon that's much more powerful, so there's almost no need for ammo management. If it were up to me, I would have different weapon rarities have different amounts of reserve ammo, but I don't really have high hopes for anything like this happening, because in photos and video clips with the HUD enabled, we can see that the player is carrying hundreds of rounds of ammunition in lower tiered weapons, which is absurdly high. It is possible that that's just how it is for the promotional material, and it could be lowered when the game launches, but I'm probably just coping. I do also think it's pretty interesting that weapon kits are coming back. I mean, it's not like it really went anywhere because in Cold War you could equip any blueprint at any time, which was basically weapon kits with an extra step. I did like the idea of random attachments, but honestly that system would probably be better in a game that doesn't have a thousand different attachments to choose from. But at least I don't have to worry about my guns being ugly. And well, I guess that's all the major stuff I really wanted to talk about. Like I said earlier, just about everything in this game sounds great, but these were just the things that I felt I had something worth saying about. This game certainly has a lot of potential, and I really hope that it lives up to it.